Illegal followings, communications, interceptions and threats against lives were among the actions perpetrated by Colombia's security department against human rights defenders and political opponents. Among the targets was lawyers' collective Jose Alvear, of which Reinaldo is part. In his case, even relatives such as his wife became a target of state intimidations. We never had any doubt that all the political persecution was coming from the state, meaning that those that were under the obligation to protect us are the same ones that attack us. To the extent that we end up fearing for our lives, that naturally generates anxiety and permanent state of emotional uncertainty that clearly constitutes psychological torture. The Colombian Coalition Against Torture have submitted a report identifying torture as an instrument that is systematically used for political persecution and repression of social protest. Also, the state forces are identified as the main perpetrators. There is a pattern of attacks against human rights defenders. Their activities are constantly stigmatized and criminalized in a way that lead to believe that abusive intervention by state security is justified. Between 2010 and 2014, over 1,700 human rights defenders were victims of assaults that might very well be considered as torture. However, Colombian legislation usually ends up typifying torture cases as minor crimes such as personal injury or abuse of authority. That has obstructed justice and truth-seeking. If there is no truth, no guarantees of non-repetition, neither a justice that is effective, accurate, and appropriate, then it is going to be difficult to reach a sort of peace in which people can trust again in the state and its institutions. Right when the issue of compensation for the victims is at the center of Colombia's peace negotiations, human rights defenders believe that the crime of torture, usually underreported and overlooked, should be addressed as a fundamental part of truth-seeking and justice. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá, Colombia.